Raise the vermilion banner. Fearing an attack with a second Ultima bomb, the Kingdom of Concordia, home to the Azure Peristilium, began defending the airspace over its territory and that of the Dominion of Rubrum. Concerned the war might spread to other nations, Concordia sought an immediate cessation of hostilities, but was rejected outright by the Dominion of Rubrum. With large portions of land occupied by the Empire, the Dominion was reluctant to accept a ceasefire, as that would be a silent concession to the Empire's act of aggression. The Consortium of Eight, Rubrum's supreme ruling council, spent several days debating how to recover their lost territory. With our force's current state, do you really believe we can defeat the Empire in a full-scale conflict? We'll have to abandon our outer territories and focus on defending the capital and retaking key strategic areas. We can make up for our disadvantage in numbers with the sea. The Empire already unleashed the sea on us during this invasion. We're lucky that it wasn't a Primus. If they want to throw dirt at us, I say we just throw it right back at them. My, you've quite the sense of humor. Do you really think a lessee would accede to the wishes of the Consortium? Why not? The Vermilion Bird Crystal was attacked by an enemy lessee. It was put in danger. There's no way that its lessee could refuse to aid us in this situation. And if the lessee operated by that logic, you might actually have a point. Only the Vermilion Bird Crystal has the power to direct the lessee to help us. And the wills or wants surrounding that do not a productive discussion make. Might I offer a suggestion? I understand the cadets who were involved in the liberation of the capital were unaffected by the jammer and managed to repel the White Tiger Lassie. Can we create more soldiers with the same magic technology used to create them? Sorry I'm late. You can't simply repeat what I've done with the children. And the tech itself is classified. Disclosure is out of the question. <sighs> Dr. Aratia, have you learned anything about the Crystal Jammer? Very little, I'm afraid. I can say with certainty, though, that no human could operate the Jammer. It would take a lessee. However, my scanners haven't detected any major disruptions since Lorica's little disappearing act. Based on the data, I believe that something has happened to the Lassie, and the Jammer is inoperable. Even if that's true, do you have an actual plan to get us out of this current mess? Just deploy the cadets. Huh? Huh? I believe that is the best way to turn the tide of battle without compromising our defenses. Uh, undeniably, the Agito cadets would make for a potent implement of war, but... Would it not be seen as an expansion of the role of those defending the Peristilium? No! If the sea won't help us, what choice do we have? Very well. Shall we defer to the Chancellor's judgment? The Dominion's very existence is imperiled. Each of us will be put to trial. 
Even the Agito cadets. And if Rubrum is at stake, they would welcome those challenges. Very well, then. Shall we make it official? All right, let's cut through the formalities. I am now your commanding officer, Kurosame. Commanding officer? Yes. As of this moment, you are under my command. The authorization came directly from Arch Sorceress Oratia Alratia. From Mother? Hey. Take a hike, yo. We only take orders from Mother. Got it? You're not wanted here, yo. <laughs> It's that hurt! Satisfied? Good. Henceforth, you will execute Dominion missions under my command. When you have no assignment, you will live here, at Academia, with the other cadets. On campus? Yes. We never had to do that before. Why start now? Does that come from Mother, too? Yes. Those are Dr. Horatia's orders. Hmm. Also, Cadet Machina! Cadet Rem! Enter! 
Two new cadets have been assigned to Class Zero. Starting today. Makina Kunigiri. Hello. Rem Tokimia. Nice to meet you. Let me guess. Chaperones? Your time is yours until you receive further orders. I have high hopes for you. May the crystal guide you. Good to see you again. Thanks for the assist the other day. Yeah. Thanks so much for helping us out. Seriously, though, I can't believe Class Zero is real. Why, my friends and I were sure yourselves were just one of Academia's urban legends now we were. And you're so powerful. Just three of you took down a Lassie. Oh, which reminds me. Why were you able to use your weapons in Starting today, I'll be relaying mission information and instructions from the Dominion. I am the Military Operation Organization and Guidance Logistics Expert. Moogle for short, Kubel. Some prefer to call me the Military Operation Guide or MOG, Kubel. You can call me whatever you want. I hope to be of service, Kubel. Whatever I want? How about... Moglin! 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 Lin! N no Kubo! No Lin, Kubo! B -b besides I do have a proper name, Kubo. Hmm? What is it? Hatskamini Lotayosna Iribochi, Kubo? Hmm? That's too hard. Moglin's good enough! G -g good enough? Kubo. What is this place? It's called a cemetery. What's a cemetery? Here we carve the names of the fallen, so their legacies may live on. Because we are unable to retain memories of those who die before us. But I heard that the crystal removes our memories to help us, so that the living will be tied down to the dead. That's why we leave our knowing tags behind before we go to battle as proof that we lived. If no one comes to pick up a tag, it means that person died. Then that name is engraved here, as the name of someone who died for the Vermilion Bird. I always make sure to write down the names of everyone that I meet, or go out on a mission with. Then after a mission, I check to see if there are any names I don't recognize. If there are names there that I don't remember, and I come here, and look for the people I once knew. But I still can't remember them. Wow. 
What's this? It's a relic terminal, Kubo. A what? Relic. An artifact shrouded in mystery, said to be born of the Vermilion Bird Crystal. I've heard it has the power to manipulate time and space. That's according to some legends, Kubo. In the Dominion, we sync them with magic and use them for data input and communication, Kubo. You can save your data. And such, Kubo. If I'm not mistaken, cadets can do all of that with the naturally occurring relics all over the world. That's right, Kubo. If you find one, you should check it out, Kubo.
big brother. I'm... I'm in Class Zero now. The legendary Class Zero. Makina. Uh, I was reporting to my brother. Not that I have any memories of what he was even like anyway. Your brother died during a successful mission. He was protecting the Dominion after all. But... It's weird. What is? According to the records, he wasn't part of the Capital Liberation Campaign. Huh? Then why... The authorities wouldn't tell me anything. He was on the battlefield? Without being deployed? That. Or he was on a top-secret mission that they couldn't keep on record. He's your brother, Makina. I'm sure whatever he was doing, he did his best. I'd like to think that. But, why would he be on the front lines? Brother, why did you die? I'm busy, please make it quick. You look well. Thank you. 
Good work. Goodbye. Oh, I have a special message on my comm. Special message? Yes. It appears that the Moogle is calling us all to a meeting. Hmm. So let's go back to the classroom and ask the Mogul what it's about. Yes. And, uh, what's it calm again? Oh, it was the name of the communicator that was issued to us. Crystal Oriented Messaging Medium is what the letters in calm stand for, or so I'm told. Please. Counting on you. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. Good luck. Good luck to you.
Class Zero, the game. beginning mission. Wait! help.
help. Further! Sniper team, get to your post! Demons! Hey! 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 